turning. Oh, hello there. Good evening. Let's see here. Woo! All right. Supplement time. Mm. So, going over a, an ingredient today. Um, going over L-theanine, theanine, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a nootropic. Newer kind of ingredient. Uh, helps work synergistically with caffeine and other types of nootropics. Um, nootropics have gotten a lot more involved with pre-workouts uh, in response to the DMHA ban. So people brought in teacrine, they brought in the other, other types of nootropics that kind of help with that mood stabilization. So L-theanine, what it is, is a non-essential amino acid that is found in green tea leaves and can also be derived from, what does it say? Edible mushroom spe species. Sorry guys, I have my notes up here. Some of these things I can't always remember. Um, it helps with brain function. It is a nootropic amino acid. So what it does is, what's really cool is it has the ability to cross the blood brain barrier. So it acts like a non-sedative relaxing agent, which is something that's super cool. Um, and it has been shown to improve attention when combined with caffeine. Um, it helps with any competitive base sport, uh, just cause it helps athletes, helps any kind of competitor kind of get in the zone, help with their, uh, their mind helps improve mental alertness. Ideally when to take it as about 15 to 20 minutes prior to when you feel like you're going to need the most cognitive function. There's really not much to the ingredient itself. Um, all nootropics are going to do pretty much the same thing. It's going to help stabilize your mood. It's going to give you more uh, tentativeness. It's going to make you mentally alert. Pretty cool. Pretty cool ingredient. It's almost like you're taking like a limitless pill without those terrible side effects. But then they end up figuring out how to get rid of it anyway. Um... Ashwagandha is also another type of nootropic. Um, I talked about other types of nootropics in my previous video. But um, that pretty much covers it other than it improves your reaction time. So it would be good to take on like a long drive so you don't get too relaxed. Uh, it helps reduce the feelings of tiredness and mental fatigue, which is fantastic. To all my correctional officers out there that are still out there doing the dang thing, I would recommend taking some L theanine, some sort of nootropics. Um, ideal serving is about 100 to 200 milligrams, so pay attention to that within your products that is going to have that kind of appropriate dosing. That's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys haven't already, go check out our earlier video with Mia Landell with our wisdom Wednesdays or motivational talk um, and if you guys miss it you either check it out on Facebook or go on my YouTube subscribe and check it out it'll be under the motivational tab and it'll be wisdom Wednesday uh, talking about the uh, anxiety and the fear of losing that was today's video um, in closing if you guys already don't know who I am, I'm Dave with Anytime Fitness. Follow me on Instagram. Add me on Facebook. Subscribe to my YouTube. And like always, in closing, peck pop, bicep vein. Let's see what we got going on there. Let's see if we can get it. All right. Hope everyone has a good evening. I'll catch you guys later. Deuces.